Hey everyone, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating the advanced order execution capabilities and functionalities of the CQG data feed. Now, if you're not familiar with it, CQG is essentially a one-stop shop to your trading. And what I mean by that is CQG handles order execution. It provides users with market data. And when I say market data, I basically mean the prices you're receiving on your charts. Whether it's bid ask data, prices, volume, etc., CQG handles this. It also basically virtually connects your funds to the platform back to the FCM that your account is with. And that's what I mean by one stop shop. It basically provides you with everything you need on the platform of your choice. And we have two platforms here. So we have MT5 on the left, CQG desktop on the right. They're both running the CQG data feed on the same account. Now, in order to run CQG on two platforms at the same time, all you need to do is request an additional login. And by request, we can enable that for you, allowing to use these platforms concurrently. And that's where it leads into this video. I'd like to show you the advanced order execution capabilities of logging into two platforms concurrently and the benefits that they provide. So the really nice thing about CQG is the fact that it provides server-side order routing. And what I mean by that, if you're not familiar, is that your orders will rest on the CQG server. So if you have a working order that has not been filled yet, and for whatever reason you lose internet connection, your computer goes down, all the above, your order will stay resting on CQG servers. So if you're in a position and you're relying on a stop loss or take profit order to fill to get you out of that position, and you should never guarantee that those orders will get filled, but I'm just using this as a hypothetical example. And in theory, if you were in a position and you had, you know, a bracket order and you did lose internet, you could rely on CQG servers to potentially have those orders filled to get you out of your position. Again, this is all hypothetical, just throwing out examples, but that's the primary benefit of use, utilizing a data feed in a platform that supports server-side orders. You have that sense of, you know, security that your orders will stay on the server regardless of what happens to your local machine, whether it's losing internet or power. There's some platforms out there that do not support this. And if you were in that hypothetical example that I just described and you did lose internet, you could potentially lose your orders as well. And you're just sitting there with an exposed position. So, what exactly does server-side orders mean when you're utilizing two different platforms like I'm showing here? Well, it provides you with various reasons and, you know, various attributes that you can utilize them. And what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, you use MT5. Maybe you have an expert advisor or some custom script on there that is only available on MT5. And maybe you want a platform that you could use on mobile or that doesn't have the order execution capabilities that you find on MT5. You can use both platforms in conjunction with one another in order to basically reap the benefits of both platforms. So instead of describing it, let's just get in here and show you. So right now I have two platforms open with the same live account connected. I have both the MES June contract on both platforms. Let's say for example, I want to come down to a particular price on MT5 in place a limit order. For this example, I'm going to use one click trading on my chart and I'm going to buy a limit a contract or a quantity of one at 39.4250. So if you pay attention, the second I play this place this order, it is shown on my chart. And if you notice on the right hand side, our CQG desktop platform, we actually see the same order. I have my order section down below so you can see it. And I do actually have one current working order, long quantity of one at 39.4250. The exact same order I just placed on MT5. So as you can see with the server side order capabilities that CQG provides, we now see the same exact order that I just placed on MT5 appear on CQG desktop. It's all seamless. It's all held on CQG servers. Um, and, and it's very easy to manage. So now that, that we, have, we have this working order in place, you can essentially manage or modify this order on either platform you like. So let's go ahead and cancel this for now and do it the opposite way. So like I mentioned, some users may have an expert advisor or some sort of you know custom indicator or script built on MT5 that they use for analysis or whatever the case is, and then they seek 
order execution off of another platform. You know, MT5 was built around Forex, and although it works just fine for futures trading, there's a lot of things with order types and order execution that was oriented and, you know, built upon, assuming that the platform would be used for Forex. So a lot of that, you know, for basic market orders and limit orders, it works fine. But when you're using advanced orders or you want some sort of multi-bracket order capability, MT5 may not be able to provide that. But CQG does, and you could utilize CQG's platform in conjunction with MT5 to get, reap the benefits of both. So let's say, for example, I do the same thing on CQG desktop. I'm going to use the dome in this case and scroll a bit away from the market and go ahead and place a buy limit order. I place that, and you can see it automatically appears on MT5 instantly. It's held on the servers. I see it down in my working orders or my trade section on MT5. It's the same exact order I just placed at 39.67. It shows up on both, and now we can decide which platform we want to manage it on. If we want to modify or delete it on MT5, we can go ahead and do so. Delete this order, and now it's deleted from both platforms. So we've essentially done the same thing, showing you on both sides of the equation and how it can be modified and manipulated on either platform. It's fairly intuitive, and again, this works on a combination of different platforms. We made a similar video in the past that demonstrated this using CQG Desktop and TradingView. You don't have to use CQG Desktop, you could use TradingView and MT5. There's a lot of custom indicators on TradingView as well, um, and some people prefer order execution off of that. It's both utilizing the CQG data feed and just about any platform that you can think of that is compatible with CQG is compatible with this method that I'm showing you right now. That includes multi-charts, CQG Q Trader, Optimus Flow. There's a ton, ton to name, um, and you can feel free to check out our platform page. I'll put it in the description down below, and you can see all the platforms that are compatible with CQG. I'll also provide an MT5 demo if you're interested as well. So let's go ahead and do something a little bit different. I know I mentioned the scenario where you're trading with a bracket order, and then you lose internet. Well, let's see what it looks like if we actually place that in. So I'm going to activate bracket orders on CQG desktop. If you'd like to use this platform and you need to know how to use bracket orders, we actually have a video on that as well. So feel free to check out our YouTube CQG desktop playlist for more info on how to do this. I already have this set up on my end though. I have a take profit and a stop loss leg of 15 ticks offset set up for myself. And I'm going to place a buy limit order at 39.67. I can go ahead and place that in. And then we see it on MT5 as well. Now, the only thing is, is you may not see those two other parked orders, as CQG's desktop would call them, because my actual working order has not filled yet. But you can see them down below. And as soon as my position is hit on CQG desktop, or excuse me, my working order, those parked orders, quote unquote, will go into effect and then they become working. And you'll automatically see those on MT5 as well. You can see my account balance remains the same across both of them. Uh, the account info is the same. All positions and working orders translate from one to another. And then you can see all my history as well uh, if you need to line those up. Both are perfectly okay using either platform you want. We just like to show our traders that you do have multiple options when it comes to trading platforms. And just because you absolutely need one feature out of one platform, doesn't mean you can't utilize another platform using the same data feed. You can get the best of both worlds, reap benefits of both, and have a lot of flexibility and customization when it comes to your platform choices and order execution. So just keep in mind, if you do need some sort of particular feature on MT5 or CQG Desktop or any of the platforms above that I named today, but the order execution may be lacking on that platform or you're just not comfortable with it or need something else, I would suggest to request an additional login from your broker or us, get you enabled for that second login, and that way you can use both platforms to your liking, get the best of both worlds, and um, you know, it will really help you grow in your trading. So we hope this video helps. I know it was a bit simple, but you know, a lot of people who utilize CQG don't realize this is a capability of the platform.
and they may feel a little bit restricted to their platform choice, you know, after using it a bit. Um, we run into a lot with our own clients and we just wanted to make this video to stress that you're not, not locked into your choice. You're never locked in when it comes to data feeder platform, but when it comes to using CQG, the server side order capabilities, the advanced order functionality is amazing. It works across so many different platforms and, um, utilizing the best of both worlds of multiple platforms is, you know, a great way to go about it. So again, I hope this video helped. If you do have any questions, please visit our community forum. That's community.optimistfutures.com. There is a link to it down in the description below. Again, if you're interested in trying either CQG desktop or MT5, I'll put links for those down in the description too. If you have any questions on those, again, visit our community forum and we'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.